I coughs. Uh, but it does remind me, any, anybody seen the Blue Man Group? Blue Man Group, anybody? Yeah, a bit, little bit. Okay, so a little social story here. Uh, Blue Man Group actually do a, a little sort of vid video montage of how we are all connected. And it's not the internet, it is plumbing. Okay, that's how we are connected. Lots of input, lots of output. Not always what you want, but it is an interesting thing. So, off the crap and uh, on to two things that I want to talk to you about today. The first is the next big initiative that we've got going around the CSA guidance. So, with that, we are announcing CSA guidance 3.0. We plan for this to be taken over the next six to nine months. And as the guidance actually drives a lot of the other activities that are going on inside CSA and even outside of CSA, this is a pretty important piece of work. It's a, a very critical piece of work as far as the CSA is concerned, but it's also part of what a lot of people are looking to as the basis for their cloud security strategies. So it's already a de facto standard for a lot of people. And uh, we're, we're looking to do a lot of different things with this. So we're looking for involvement, more involvement from you guys, more involvement from people who have been using the cloud as customers to drive what it is that they are really missing when they look to cloud security. And we're going to do it in a slightly different format to the way we've done it before. So we're going to use a wiki. It will be a controlled wiki. And there will be editorial people who will be looking at submissions. You can either join into one of the, uh, the domains and, and work on that with whoever is leading that particular domain. Uh, myself, I'll be acting as one of the co-chairs for this particular piece of work. But if you want to submit some stuff anonymously, you can go there and submit it, and we'll, we'll look it over and decide whether it's relevant. So in terms of why now, well, I think from what you've seen in the presentations this morning, things are changing quickly. Things have changed since we released the 2.1 guidance. And I think there are a lot of new things that we need to think about when we go into the next revision. So we've also released over the last year a number of pieces of work. And this includes the controls matrix. It includes the cloud audit being brought into the CSA auspices. And it's... Also, the fact that there's a lot more experience out there, and we're trying to draw on that. So we're going to use the wiki because that allows us to also drive towards more of a, a standards-based approach. And this is something else that's a little bit different this time. Because so far, it's been guidance. You can look at these things and say, say yeah, perhaps it is a standard. But the reality is it's just guidance. So we're looking to create more of a standard that can be used by any of the other standards bodies as well. So we're working very closely with a number of them. So with the wiki, we've got the rapid collaboration. We've got a lot of things going on that we can coordinate through that tool. Uh, it allows us to create lots of references to other examples of what we're talking about. So if any of you have seen the, uh, the threat analysis that we did around about this time, uh, in fact, just before last time last year, then we had a lot of examples of what we were talking about. And they didn't specifically belong in the guidance or anything like that, but they did help to clarify what we were talking about. So with that, it also allows a very hierarchical structure that we can link out to the other efforts that are going on. And in respect of the other efforts that are going on around the world, we're working on a number of different things that are happening. Security as a Service has just started up as a, a working group. Uh, we've got work going on in terms of hybrid clouds. And as you've heard this morning, a lot of people believe that this is certainly the way that things are going to be for a while. We're going to put some things in the public cloud, some things in the private. We're going to be able to move things around. We can only do that the right way if we do it securely. So with all that, we're also working with ISO, uh, their uh, SC27. And we're going to be doing a lot of work trying to make sure that we line up very closely with that organization in terms of how and what we are recommending and the standards efforts that are underway. We're also working to sponsor the next ISO uh, SC27 meeting. We believe that's in uh, Singapore in April. So we can't do it alone. So how do you guys get involved? Well, you can review the guidance, obviously. 
It's already up there. You can make suggestions for improvement on the wiki. You can go to the link that's up there, the cloud security. Over there. Uh, you can go to the uh, cloudsecurityalliance.org slash guidance. And if you want to participate in the working groups, you can sign up with the folks who are leading those groups on that page. So I encourage you to do that. I would love to see a lot more customer participation as opposed to industry participation so we can make sure we're balancing out what's going on in this particular initiative. So second initiative, cloud at the speed of sound. Uh, I've been working with Jim for a couple of years now and one of the things that we're going to push out over this month is a podcast series called Cloud at the Speed of Sound. And you can uh, go see it at 768 MPH. Uh, anybody know what 768 MPH is? Oh, come on, speed of sound, it's obvious. So uh, it'll be launching this month. Uh, the website may or may not be up right now, but if you want to get hold of me, talk about anything that's going on with that particular series, then you can uh, get me at archiereed at gmail.com. So with that, I'm going to hand over to Ken from Verizon Business to talk about CloudCert. Thanks, Archie. So out of one of the research uh, initiatives that have uh, come from the Cloud Security Alliance this year, actually the latter part of this year, is the Cloud CERT, which is essentially the security incident response uh, team. And so this is an effort to uh, take and provide a security incident response capability amongst the service providers and telecommunication providers in the industry. So essentially what the mission statement is around there is, in, is to enhance the capabilities to the cloud, of the cloud community to prepare and respond to the various vulnerabilities and threats that would uh, emerge during a particular uh, attack or, or situation where it could potentially uh, compromise the, uh, the integrity of the cloud services. And uh, this is an important initiative as we get more customers that will go on and certainly uh, as, as cloud adoption becomes even greater, it's going to be important for us to continue as service providers to make sure that we're providing that level of assurance, that we work together as a group, even though we are competitors individually, as a community, it's very important that we take and, and have these uh, initiatives and things that are going on that we make sure that we're actually protecting ourselves and our customers from an industry scale. One of the things in terms of the membership that's going to be uh, part of this is that uh, there's really going to be three core constitu constituencies that we have. We have cloud service providers, telecommunications service providers, and country certs, and uh, the ISACs. And essentially what this is is to uh, get the kind of whole ecosystem of the uh, cloud communities together and make sure that we have a coordinated and uh, consistent response as we start to see uh, individual attacks or even wider spread attacks that are going on in the environment. And certainly a way to take and collaborate with each other, uh, protect information, but still uh, be able to take and, and uh, work with each other in a, in a coordinated fashion. One of the goals uh, primarily, of course, of this is to do threat identification. Uh, this is going to be increasingly important as, uh, as we see some of the things that are uh, going on in the industry right now. Um, I, I think that uh, the, uh, the various uh, types of attacks that are going to be emerging, uh, we've, we've kind of talked a little bit at, uh, in the past about denial of service attacks. Uh, this can become more critical as you get a consolidation of providers. You could have leveraged attacks against a relatively few large providers. And the ability for um, those groups to be able to take and respond is, is certainly going to become increasingly uh, important. The liaison between other security organizations, and this can really go across a very wide group, all the way from uh, potentially law enforcement agencies as well as other, other security providers, to really be able to take a look at this and, uh, and be able to do that. And uh, obviously, incident response assistance and consultation. Uh, part of this uh, initiative too is to do is to work on uh, providing education, training, and awareness. So as we as we as ourselves as uh, cloud security providers, and uh, and the other uh, 
organizations that are involved with that, we start taking and developing the structured uh, systematic approach to how we're going to take and respond to each other in terms of the various cloud initiatives uh, around incident response and, and what we're doing with that. So the current status of, of what this is right now is we've actually, uh, it was launched at the Cloud Security Conference uh, down in Orlando in mid-November. Um, there was also some of the initial webcasts that we had um, in December. The working group uh, has been established. There's a number of, uh, number of the participants here that are up on the stage as well in the audience that are part of the working group. And essentially it uh, takes a variety of SMEs that are from the cloud service providers and telecommunications and uh, really bring them together and start working on the framework for what this is, uh, what this is going to ultimately look like. It is a, an initial uh, initiative right now at this particular point, but uh, we're hoping to expand that as we uh, go forward with this. And of course, there's, uh, there's already a, a series of action items that are uh, being tackled by the working group itself. So the, the next step, and uh, we're certainly uh, looking to expand this to the appropriate uh, entities, is uh, the mission statement and charter, the membership criteria and application process. Um, this is not going to necessarily be a group that is going to involve everyone that wants to join. It is going to be focused on the service providers that are going to have the key critical relationships um, in terms of providing the cloud services. So that group will be um, somewhat uh, limited. Uh, the reason obviously being is information around what could be going on with one service provider's cloud infrastructure and sharing that information across to competitors obviously has to be very uh, tightly structured and carefully held so um, there doesn't become some sort of uh, issue with uh, sort of confidentiality and, and privacy of information. And uh, as, as part of this process, we're definitely going to be going through and uh, doing the uh, establishment of the uh, formal process. So uh, we're getting applications right now and uh, monthly meetings are going to be held. I believe those are going to be in person down here in San Francisco primarily, but obviously they'll be um, through uh, webcasts. They'll be able to have others that can take and join. And of course, what we want to do at this particular point is make sure that we get everyone uh, involved in this. Make sure that uh, you're, as a cloud services provider, that you uh, take and, and look into joining this initiative and be able to take and uh, deal with uh, having your organization become part of this uh, environment, part of this initiative, and uh, really be able to take on and participate fully and, and really be able to uh, work with this as as part of the overall effort and to make sure that we have uh, an effort and initiative that really is uh, benefiting the entire environment. I think, as we know, cloud security and security in general is one of those things that is a, clearly a, uh, a barrier for a lot of companies and organizations to be able to join. And this is one of our initiatives from the CSA to actually reach out and say, we're being proactive about this effort and initiative and we want to make sure that uh, people flow, feel more comfortable as they're migrating into the cloud. So with that being said, uh, Michael. <laughs>